Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumb TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy, Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, man. Makita's Cookie Shop. You know what I'm saying? I heard that a lot of uh, YouTubers been inboxing me telling me uh, is my content still up because Makita's Cookie Shop is starting to flag people that saying that Raven uh, killed the, uh, had something to do with young Dolph Myrtle, you know what I'm saying, but a lot of people like, man, they gonna keep going for it, they gonna keep posting content, man, they don't care, man, you know what I'm saying, she, I think they did it to one of mine, but they didn't do it to a lot of them, but yeah, they said, man, everything Makita's, uh, name on, they starting to flag, cause they, you know what I'm saying, they tired of new rumors, cause they watching the rumors every day, like, they not real people, bro. They watching what the internet saying about them instead of shutting their internet off. They should have had it shut off when that man was getting murdered. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all didn't have it on when the man got whacked. You feel me? Now you got you trying to watch what everybody say, all the YouTubers, because you're guilty. You know what I'm saying? Raven left. People know publicly that she left. She came back. She talked to uh, neighbor restaurants. And whenever somebody say something about young dog that she think uh, give her credit, her family, that they didn't do it, or she try to post that, man, that's a sign of a guilty person, man. Nobody ain't worried about that. If you think I did it, well, come get me. If I know I ain't do it, I'm just finna sit back. I ain't finna keep going public trying Trying to act like I ain't had nothing to do with this and my family didn't have nothing to do with this. Come on, man. Your family had to have something to do with it. It's Makita's Cookies, man. Y'all back in business. Y'all got a uh, uh, GoFundMe. Y'all didn't get no money, no proceeds to the family. I mean, come on, man. I call it how I see it, man. Y'all guilty, man. Ain't no way. You got uh, rappers that's affiliated with the ops. You know what I'm saying? You running with the ops. You doing podcasts with the ops. You just running your mouth giving different stories. You giving this person a story, then you go to get a media another story. Everybody know your story done changed a thousand times. Every time they ask you, a new person asks you, you give them a different story instead of the same story. You know what I'm saying? So you already know, man, what it is. You know what I'm saying? You just keep lying. Some people, it's compulsive lies. They say you was in a strip club working. Strippers are shysty. They see money, they shysty. They want some of that. You know what I'm saying? They know you had a bag, man. Come on, man. Time she a BBW stripper. I want to see her, you know what I'm saying, when she, you know, out there stripping. Because evidently the cookie shop couldn't be making too much money if you stripping or you just want to be a hoe. You fucking all these rappers that you supposed to be managing. Nobody didn't even know you had artists. But all of a sudden you got artists. Come on, man. So much stuff in this young Dolph case that need to be checked out for Maurice. His story kept changing. When he came up to the cookie shop, he seen him shoot. Dang, they said you wrong, wrong him. You wrong it. You wrong him, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no telling, man. You know what I'm saying? People ran out the cookie shop. What really happened to young Dolph, people? That's what we want to know. What really happened? You know, we we hear all these stories of what led up to what happened, but what really happened? Who was them two guys? You know what I'm saying? Did they have murder on their mind? Did they uh, just see him all of a sudden and got him, or did they lay on him? Lay on him mean they've been following him. They've been checking his every location. That's what lay on him mean. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to figure out why they did it, how did they do it? Well, I mean, could they do it because that was their only chance catching them? Or they had to send a message to them? Or what was it? You don't come squirt nobody with no water gun for no reason. You know what I'm saying? The way they squirted that bow, old boy with them water guns, man, that ain't made no sense, man. So what was the reason, bro? You didn't take no money, you didn't carjack no cars. You just took this man's life, man. Jealousy. 
jealousy, boy, it hurt more than anything. Cut deeper than a knife. So I'm trying to figure this out, man. Did you two cats, uh, was y'all responsible for it or was it a bigger person? I know a couple scrubs, man, because they didn't get a record deal. Ain't going to come gun down the superstar, celebrity. I mean, it just don't make sense. You had to be told by a high ranking to go ahead and get him. And y'all just start going to get him. Get that bag. But that's what it was about, I believe. But we're going to find out, man. It's going to always be a mystery. I believe it's going to be a mini, uh, a mini movie, some chronicles, and everything else, man. Probably a real movie about that dude. Because I just want to see uh, how he lived, man. Because I know he came to my city a whole bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? The boy was on the road doing shows, man, running it up. Man. I just want everybody to see what he was doing on that independent, you know, rise to the top. Y'all let me know in the comments, man. Peace of mind.